What is going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jay and today I'm doing a little hiatus from my normal content because usually we do a lot of guitar reviews, gear reviews, that sort of thing, but I'm working on a new song and it is still in the early stages of development. So don't blast me in the comments. If you think it sucks, it's not done yet. What I wanted to do kind of is just kind of do a little quick comparison of what hits better, the rhythm or the lead. And in this instance, you know, I really can't decide which one I want to focus more or uh, rather I want to highlight more in this portion of the song. Is it the lead? It's kind of a simple melodic lead and the rhythm is simple as well. But another thing too I want to mention is that the rhythm tracks here are very simple, very non-technical. Anyone can pretty much play these. It's more of a groove, it's more of a feel thing for me. And uh, I think it hits pretty heavy. So I'll let you guys be the judge. Let me know in the comments down below, which is better, the rhythm of the leads, both, neither, whatever your opinion is, is valid. And I wanna hear from you guys. So this is just gonna be a quick video today. Just popping in to say, hey, what's up? I'm still here, uh, been busy, you know, it's summertime, going to the beach and doing all sorts of things and just staying busy, you know, life. So still killing it with the Ibanez uh, RGA 622. This thing is beautiful. Quick story about this guitar too is, I didn't really know what tuning I wanted to put it in. I just knew I wanted to do a drop tuning of some sort, but nothing too heavy, nothing crazy with the uh, trem system there. So I ended up just sticking the guitar in D standard. And after like six different string gauges, literally, couldn't seem to get the right one. So I settled on uh, Ernie Ball 10 and a half to 48s for D standard. Might seem a little bit light to you guys, but I tried 11 to 52s or 11 to 54s, one of those, and they were just way too tight. I had to like, just had to mess with the trim for so long and the screws in the back. It was like just a mess. I don't know. I couldn't get it right. I couldn't get the balance. I couldn't get the action just the way I wanted. So I stuck with this uh, 10 and a half to 48s and it just plays great. And it sounds really good too. What I really like about this guitar as well is that tone zone in the bridge. Because if you're not familiar with the DiMarzio tone zone pickup, it's an old pickup. It's been around for a lot of years. Uh, it's just a staple. It's a standard. It's pretty... In my opinion, it sounds pretty flat, which is good because then you can kind of tweak which frequencies you want with your amp and EQ and all that good stuff. Uh, it's not right out of the box, like kind of crazy. It does have a little less treble than it does bass as far as the, you know, the profile of the EQ. But to me, it just sounds very flat and even, and it's an easy pickup to get along with because it's not a lot of harsh, brittle high end that you have to dial out that's, you know, killing your mix. So again, this guitar, this Ibanez, is, is just amazing. Uh, D standard is pretty heavy. It's not super heavy, obviously, but uh, it's heavy enough for a trem system for me and had a blast making this track, still working on it. So you guys will get to see the entire mix uh, once it's fully complete and I put some bass and drums on it. Hopefully that, that'll be completed by the time I load this video, but you never know. All right, this is take whatever. Let's do it. Get her done, skis!
So that's pretty much it for today, guys. We're just comparing the rhythm to the lead. You know, which one hits better? Uh, your opinions, let me know down below. Hit the like button, subscribe button, all that good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys soon in the next one. I'm out of here. See ya! And recording again.